Hey Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Yours truly here, Shani with Healing Elements, myself with a Capricorn Moon. So let's all listen to a fairy tale oracle deck message. This fairy tale oracle deck is beautiful. It's by Lucy Cavendish. After shuffling for uh, quite some time and pulling one uh, for each sign, yours is, if it means anything to you, the number 28th card in the deck. So if number 28 means anything to you, this story is called Fairies. Words. When the princess in this fairy tale speaks, jewels fall from her lips. Here even the dragonflies and magical creatures hover, already adorned with her gifts, awaiting for her next word. This is a symbolic treasure of a tale in which one of the three sisters is so sweet-hearted that even though her siblings and stepmother have never loved her or spoken a single kind word to her, she is still pure of heart and kind to all. She, as one of the many chores... She has goes to the well to draw water, a symbol of drawing upon ancient primal energy and memories. And an old, old woman asks her there to give her a drink. She is kind, and of course, she dips the ladle into the well and pours the sweet water into the parched lips of the old woman, who reveals herself to be a fairy. And this fairy blesses the girl for her goodness, and after that, every word that comes from the girl's mouth is accompanied by either a flower or a jewel. This blessing is simply a representation of the girl's essence and her soul, which the fairy woman with her ability to see through to the heart of any human has recognized and rewarded. When her stepmother sees the girl and watches diamonds and rubies and roses and lilies fall from her lips, for the first time she values her daughter. She demands to know why she has been gifted with such riches, and when the girl explains, open-hearted and honest as she is, the stepmother sends her sister to the well to do the same thing. But the fairy is not foolish and disguises herself once again. And so while the sister is expecting a little old woman, a glorious queen comes forth and asks for a drink of water. Instead of obliging, the sister rolls her eyes and demands that she go on her way. Of course, the fairy then rewards this action with toads and worms falling from this sister's lips. The mother blames the good sister for this misfortune and banishes her to the forest where she meets a king's son, a hunting, who asks her why she is there alone and why so sad. When she tells him her story, he values not only the jewels that spring forth from her lips, but her beauty, her open-heartedness, her honesty, her grace, her kindness, and her true dignity. Of course, the story ends with the king marrying this girl, so rich in beauty, kindness, intelligence, diplomacy, and eloquence, and the sister who speaks so cruelly and cursedly dies a sad death. This is a story about appearances, about reading a book just by its cover, about good manners and good heartedness being for everybody and for everybody to embrace. It is about how, especially when we have no advantage in doing the right thing, we do the right thing anyway. When this card comes to you, my dear Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising, you are being asked to watch the thoughts within your head and change them and to speak words of beauty. You guys, yes, this pertains to a Capricorn that I know from a situation yesterday. This does not mean to flatter or give in to falsehoods. It is though to find the beauty in yourself, people, situations, the world, every single scenario and speak with this beauty and from this beauty, truly from within. To do this, we must alter any ugliness or distortions that originates within our own mind and leech ourselves of the toxins of ugly thoughts, the kind that can poison us from within. You are being told that if another seems to have what you desire, you cannot just suddenly create it. There is work to be done at the deep level of thought and in time when you have worked on your own mind, your own more positive thoughts, your own consciousness and your own energy, the words that fall from your lips and the energy that pours from your soul will be just as the jewels were pouring from the lips of the princess. That will be the external evidence of the great beauty within you. But if you resist this, my dear Capricorns, and do not do the work at a deep level first, you will never find the right words and you will find whatever poison you do not clear from your mind and heart will somehow leak out into the world through your words and through your deeds. Clear yourself now. Do the work. Then the beauty you have to offer the world will come from you as naturally as rain falls from a cloud as perfect as a sunrise. Additional meanings when you receive this card, my dear Capricorns for the month of November 2019 are words have immense power to change lives. Speak words of kindness and you will be rewarded. Be charitable to all. Do good deeds often with no thought of any reward. 
do not seek to enrich yourself, but others at this time. Imitation is not the way to success. When we speak with beauty and kindness, all are enriched. Someone you know may need assistance. Okay, guys, Capricorns, I love you. I hope you have a fabulous November. This story is by Charles Peralt, and I wish you nothing but blessings, love, and light, guys.